Thanks. It's oh my a Budokai God. Tenkaichi. Yeah. Uh, you know. The Dark Tournament. You know, uh, the the Tenkaichi Tournament from Dragon Ball pretty much killed my interest of altogether in tournament arcs in any anime ever. Really, it's it's kind of. Okay. Kind of annoying, really. It's time to it's go. It's too because um, what freaking you, Hakusho, is the one that's usually um, the one that basically everybody say is having the overblown tournament arc that everybody thinks ran too long. It ran too long, but already by this point, Dragon Ball already had three tournament arcs in one. And they were series. short. <laughs> yeah, but they were free, and by the way, they, they didn't feel short, because if you if you watch them in the episodes, in the TV episodes, it feels like they are million episodes long. <laughs> you, Hawker Shows, is literally an entire season. Okay, let's go to the festival, guys. Let's go to the festival! Let's, let's get we some- We have a rival to come dump on me, I mean, <laughs> um... Don't say that, Ross! Madhog, if you're editing, to stab if you... with a sword. Madhog, oh, if you're. Oh wait! Oh wait! We are. Oh, we have a rival. I completely forgot. We. Okay, this is going to be the classic situation in which the the in which the gal who's, who appears before us like some sort of slayer's villain is going to be like, oh, ho, 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 I shall have my revenge today, and you're going to be like, huh? Who are you? And she's going to prat falling to the ground, comically. Which is, which is a trope of anime, yes. <laughs> which is a trope I really like. <laughs> Anita Cassandra. Oh, sh we're going to fight her in the first round? Yep, pretty much. She is the same age as you and is very enthusiastic about martial arts. Okay, let's see how good she That's is. That's why she studies fencing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Puny mortal! Look at her! She's she looks like she's dressed for a cosplay. <laughs> she's going down. So fast. sorry. You came after all. I won't hold back. You know, this should have been for the finals, not for the first match. No, no, you might want Yes, you know from, Look at her stats real quick before. You know, you from say a storyline perspective, this is really a kind of a cop out, like a bad wrestling payoff. Actually, uh, here's the thing, you get a rival no matter which of the four major paths you end up on. Even if you're a housewife, you get a rival. A rival housewives! Wow. <laughs> Such riveting competition! It, it's all that. cooking! Look at that. We, cooking rival! Look at that, we just dodged her like a pro. Sorry's MLG Pro. No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, let's get a... Look at that, 8 damage, and we got like, what, 612 health left? Mm-hmm. Hiya! And look, we just messed up her hair. Oh. Drat. Rat! I have Double to... and triple drat! I have... <laughs> I have to train even I harder. I have to train even harder. Sorry, but you're no match for me. Sorry, <laughs> defeated Anita <laughs> Cassandra. Biggest By upset. the way, that has to be the lamest victory quote ever. I'm sorry. Yes, it no is. You are no match for me. Okay, Carl Fox won. Okay, we're going against Salim Nasir again. Who we just embarrassed in front of his family, most likely. That's how we do. And we're probably going to just wipe the floor with this guy as well. Yep. And he just attacks like normal, and we dodge. As per usual, we dodge if, he, if the AI was smart enough to spam magic attacks, you might be an issue, but he doesn't. But considering how much HP and constitution we have, that's really a non-issue to begin with. Besides, his magic is really puny. Also, also, she just. He's actually one of the better magicians, which is sad in this tournament. You don't have any like dedicated magician guys. Also, mm. Ross, just now she just said, "Papa, I've won," sort of thing. Yes. Oh. Yes. I, yes, we are her parents. Buy her merchandise. <laughs> yes, I made T-shirts with her face on it. We made t-shirt that says, I am not the parent of this champion. This guy is, and then you have to sit right beside me. Alright. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Yes, a whole... Okay, now you have to fight Leftor, yes, who only uh, has a left hand. Hey, this is our former fencing yeah, master. How cathartic. Yes, I was going to say I guess, that. Guess who's going to have no arms after this? <laughs> <laughs> also, also, I was going to say, so you're going to say, Madog, that you're selling shirts that basically points to the to the right of the person and then it keeps going and going and going until it reaches us. <laughs> they are magic t-shirts. <laughs> Oh, okay. You'll need a hundred years of training before you can fight me. No. Actually, it was about three. <laughs> <laughs> 71 damage. Let's see what you do. He and we dodged. Well, that's... Do you think he can get any power off of a left-handed swing like that? Oh, 51 yes, damage. Yes, he can. Yes, oh, he, wow. It, wow. Oh, he managed to eat us. Wow, that, 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 that... 51 damage. He does. He did more with one hand than he did than any other person has done with two. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fencing master for nothing. But, sorry Lefto, but we have to beat you. You are going... You are going down. And don't worry folks, that's not blood, that's his cape. Oh, okay. Lefto <laughs> yields. Just go with that. I surrender. For someone as young as you to beat me, you must be a genius. Thank you, yes. That, if, yes no, that's, I'm just Jesus. It, yes, it, I'm a genius. That's what my parents never tell me. It's also it's it also doesn't help that you have one eye only, apparently. No, she is literally Jesus, by the way, yes. Yes. Papa, I won! 300 G's! Okay, we're fighting. This guy again, Masal Halbar again. You oh, almost we... always fight him in the. Yeah, final. it's always him. That's it's, really anticlimactic. It's always the, the only other. The only time it doesn't happen is if he has to fight a strong magic user, or you fight him before the finals. Yes, Masal Halbar. For for a guy who, uh, who looks like a Fire Emblem pirate. <laughs> Yaha digital D. <laughs> do, do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. A pirate. <laughs> yes, I've already referenced that in our Monkey Island Let's Play. Yeah, and I did a song out of it. A, a Monkey Island version of that song. Yes, I remember seeing that. Uh, if only I could remember the lyrics. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. We can at least lower his health. Stop dodging! We want you to get your health lowered so then we can beat you on a technicality. Oh yeah, we got we got you beat on technicality. Carrying a chicken pulley with you, you are a pirate. Are you reading the lyrics from somewhere? No, no, no! I'm going with memory. Stocking up, stocking all people inside. I would. That's, that's not Alex, you barnacle head. You are a pirate. Enough! Time's up, I declare Sauri the victor. Yay! Okay, guy, that yes. means I collapse on the ground, dead! <laughs> <laughs> By embarrassment. <laughs> okay, I died is, from embarrassment. This guy has too much HP to beat him in an regular manner. You have to basically... Uh, that hog, the king has... You know. The king has come again. Well done, Sauri Champstein, I present you the first place in tournament. <laughs> I'm honored, Your Majesty! My show, my father will also be pleased! Both of them! Uh, uh, just don't... Uh, what? Hey, what, 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 what just happened? Wait, did, did, did we won? We won oh, again! We won! <laughs> and we got up by 20 points, the fighter's reputation. Yeah, seriously, do yourself a favor, never sell that royal sword, even if you have like five of them. Why? <laughs> Uh, Wouldn't you like to know? Translated, that's what he's saying. Yeah, you can buy booby pills! <laughs> oh! But quick, buy the demon's pendant. Okay. Why the demon's pendant? I don't know about this, I don't like buying from peddlers like him. Especially no, one that looks like a- to the desert! Okay, okay. So, so, by the way, Ross, uh, save the game. I'm, I'm going to show you something after we save this game. 
Oh. Okay, well, actually, since you have a save game, try selling the sword. Watch what, watch what happens. Wait, let me, wait, what? I was gonna show try you. Try selling the royal sword. Because we have two of them. Yeah, have... try selling one of them. See what happens. Are you kidding? Obviously, we're gonna get done for something. Okay. One moment, please. Is this the sword you were trading? Not a royal gift? Ah, it's an inspector. I didn't know anything about it. He just so happens to pass by <laughs> right when we're about to sell the sword. Mm. What a convenience, sir. This is, this is most certainly a royal sword. Hawking a gift from his majesty is quite inexcusable. Sorry, I'm Mr. Chumpstain. Your qu crime seems clear. Of selling the sword which I have ordered you, I am disappointed that Chumpstain was with you and simply lets you sell it. I have no excuse, your majesty. Social reputation went down by 30 points. Wow. Though you are a child, you have fought in the combat tournament, which makes you a warrior. A warrior's sword is a soul. Sell it off to some greedy merchant is an outrage beyond words. She was a nice girl. 30 points. Oh. Wow. Wow. And the fake Madhog, you wanted to sell it. Oops. <laughs> I knew there'd be a problem with selling that thing. <laughs> Okay, we got the demon seal, so we'll we'll go adventuring in the desert, like Ross said we should do. Uh, wait, Dava, didn't you want to show something to us? Oh yes, it's a bit of an extra of something, really. But basically, you can unlock two shops that do not exist. Oh, I'm aware of it. You don't have to show me. I'm, I know of it. Yeah, no, no, no. This is something. Show it to the audience. That's something for the audience, though. Let's see if I remember it correctly. It was... Yes, Ross, because you seem to forget often, but we are... True, that, that's right. We're recording this. I apologize. I see. For, an, for an audience, for people to see. I see. You know? I'm trying to remember, really, what the button... F12, R, N, Q. F12, R, Q, and what? R, Q, N. Uh, hold N. all of them at the same time. Okay, we hold all three of these buttons at the same all time. Four. F12, R, N, Q. Yes, we hold four. Get on with it! Why don't you put in the Konami code while you're there? <laughs> okay, and then we leave. And then we go back. And you notice we have two new stores that shouldn't be here. Oh. The beta shop first is just a place where you can see stuff that, uh, like, showing the ages, the daughter's faces, paintings. Marriage, and you can even set an ending. Ooh, awesome! Yeah, you can see all the endings using that. Oh my god! Yes, but if you the bar, if, if we go the bar, to the bar, the yes. bar, the bar, we must now satisfy my morbid curiosity and see the father ending. Oh no! Because I, no, no, not... I never saw that ending for myself. Now that we have the chance, I'm, I'm just too curious about this. <laughs> okay. But... Now, not now's not the time to record that. We can access this at any time. Heck, we can access this after our playthrough is finished and use that at the beginning of the next game or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Ross, are you saying that it's actually not appropriate to show? Well, I honestly haven't seen it myself, but I don't know. I saw images from the internet. I think. I think. The, that ending will try to sell the romance, that inexistent romance between daughter and father, as earnestly as possible. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh -huh. So then this... those mad eddies. Yeah. Keep an eye on the picture, guys. Oh no, no, you're not buying the undress, are you? Oh no, you're. Oh, Look yes, at this picture. picture. This picture. Okay, apparently somebody's daughter. Wanted to draw a character for this game and they let him let her because no, I imagine that probably one of the programmers working on the English version snuck this thing if I had to guess <laughs> He's that his, said his name is Eddie's sidekick Ralph and he goes woohoo like Homer Simpson Okay, so what you can do here you can buy anything in the game you can buy items that you usually can't buy you can even get money you, still can't get. you can even they, get you can just straight get money 
And you can even set event flags and occur event occurrences. Well, actually, you can't set them, you can view them. Yes, you can. Ooh. And you can even skip months and years, choose tournaments. Go right to tournaments or dojo challenges or whatnot. And, see, and you can even die! Whoa! In this, in this wonderful folks, but you, I, I never actually saw her die in, over anything. In, in so in the um, in that shop is where you can get the infamous undress. What? Seriously? Yeah, Mad Eddie shop. Go ahead and look. I'm not telling you to put it on unless you're planning on censoring this thing before you put it on. <laughs> I might as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's from the top shelf. The undress for 5,000 Gs. Okay, you know what? We saved the game, so... Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Might as, well, might as well go in and just get tons of money while we're at it. Okay, so at this point we completely forsake any resemblance of a professional playthrough and we're just going... To do... Just fucking around Just, this. Just messing around. Just... Wow, Thanks, okay. Moha. Okay, let's see. Undress, uh, it's it's up there. I know, I've already bought yeah, it. I just wanted to see it. if there was anything else that we wanted. Like, there's a demon's <laughs> dress here. Oh, you can buy as much booksomized pills as you want. Are you kidding? <laughs> that thing doesn't barely does much. This game is becoming really, really awful by the second. <laughs> yes, it is. Dragon tights. We're men. Women and dragon tights. <laughs> uh, okay, and we'll just leave it to that. Okay, folks, I hope you're ready for blockiness. No, please don't block us. I'm going to censor this if if it if it's necessary. Please, please don't report us. Okay? That's what that's what I mean. You, the, you know, the censor bars, the blocks. No, That's I, why, man. I am going. I'm going to be the guy who has to do that anyway. So, uh, so it's time for the undress. Oh, oh gosh, God. I'm dreading oh, no. this because I don't really like these sort of things. If it's what I think it is. Oh no! 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 Oh, no! No! That's not no! Not no! Oh, oh, no! No! It's like look at a Barbie away. doll. Get away! Get away. Get away. Oh, no! So here's the funniest thing. Code it into the game, it counts as a dress, so you can use it for the dancing tournament. And not it's the only dress that is not weight locked. Get away! Load the game! Do something then! Do something! No! Return. Good lord. It's like look at a Barbie doll. Ugh. That was not nice. No. That was... That was completely... Oh, they're still there. Yes. Oh, well, let's just ignore them. Yeah, you don't have to go into the area, so... Uh, okay, uh, so let's uh, resume our regularly scheduled... Uh, uh, which didn't female, female objectification? Oh, that's right, you're going to adventure in the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fight a demon thing. Yes, we were going to do that uh, before any of this then you awfulness going to... was brought up. Yes, any of this awfulness was brought up. My God. I think oh my I'm... God. Madhog. I'm I knew Madhog wasn't going to like the undress. I'm, <laughs> Jeez. I'm scarred for life, Madhog. No, here's the question I have to pose. What? Was that coded into the Japanese version? Or was that an English programmer working on the game that threw that in? That is the question of the moment, isn't that, it? That, I don't that want is, that to is the, know. That, that is the question. Really. That is the question. Because you have to... Because, funny story, the developer, the English developer that never got around to finishing it, was trying to fight um, having this classified as abandoned wear. I wonder if that's the reason. By the way, which way we're going, exactly? Uh, go back to the old dragon. Your charisma might be high enough that he'll talk to you. Maybe. 
Okay, it's quite some time. Hmm, you're really cute. How would you like this old guy to give you some pocket money? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh, I need an adult! <laughs> I need an adult! <laughs> it doesn't get any more adult than a great old dragon. Freaking... What? Who wrote this dialogue? A perverted old man, most likely, at this rate. Okay, okay. If you now, get Chris okay. for 100, he gives you the dragon tights. It's a dragon! Okay. Fight it! Okay, now in my mind, the dragon, the ancient dragon guy, sounds like Herbert the Pervert. Oh no! The problem with dragons is they have pitifully low morale. They will run away. Okay, okay, where to now, Ross? But Let's this, go back to the, the, to the demon cave. We need cave. to go back to the demon cave. Demon cave! South. And uh, uh, a, 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 a silly bird. Oh, it's the dirt. It's the dirty birdie. <laughs> dirty birdie, indeed. Okay, so you go right here. Yes, demon's abode. Now you go into the demon cave. Okay, what is this going to do to us? Enter the forbidden cave. A demon. A demon. Hmm, what are you doing here, girl? This is a place for humans. What's that pendant you're carrying? It's something my father gave to me. Very irresponsibly, uh, my add. Yes, our father, the hero that saved humanity, gave me a demon pendant. Let me see. Oh, why is this is the demon pendant? Miss, a human will gain nothing by keeping this item. Won't you give it to me? Huh? But it was a gift from my father. It's a very important to me. I'm not, I'm not suggesting to give it to me for free. How about if I give you Cersei's charm? Do we want it? That's entirely up to you, but there's no point in coming here otherwise. <laughs> All right then. Let's accept the charm, I guess. That's right, it's nothing to be afraid of. You won't turn into a witch or a monster. Come here. Uh, yes. Uh, trust, the, trust the guy who looks like men, but... Uh, I'm scared. You needn't worry. It'll be over quickly. Oh god, the no! De the demon holds a hand up to Salary's forehead and invokes a spell. Magic attack went up by 10 percent points. Refinement 100. Charisma 100. And oh. you would drop your morals by 100. Something out there. And immediately Might skeleton. Well Might as well camp again. All right, okay. we, ca we camp and rest. So, let's just see, break of the camp merriment. And of course the devil's having a party again. <laughs> it just so, so happens. I, I, I'm surprised the neighbors don't complain to him about the noise. <laughs> yes, we know you. We've been through this. And of course, we're sinning up like crazy. Oh my. We sinned so hard. <laughs> this game has a really wacky, um, freaking, um, morality system in general, though. This game. Again, killing an undead creature, a skeleton is sinful. Um, think about that. Oh, I think about that. It seems like as if, as if this game is trying to tell us that even monsters are people at the end of it, and you're killing people. So you should think so about that. I understand that part. It's kind of hypocritical, though, because you... Why do you have the option to begin with? I mean, there you go. Know, there no, is... The point the point was that, um, no, the problem is that killing undead evil things, like skeletons, that are not naturally occurring monsters, it's still evil. Because everyone loves worst... Skeletor! Especially the worst part is that, um, whatchamacallit, um, hunting, a profession to I get know. food to eat is sinful. I know, that's what, that was so stupid! That was beyond belief how stupid that was! 
Also, when I finish writing my re well, when I start getting the review together, which is actually already in the scripting phases, Mad Hog can have a nice long rant about that, about how fucking off the wall the themes of this game are. Uh. Because <laughs> uh, I think you have a nice rant built up on that. Actually, I I don't think I care enough to <laughs> to have to have a rant, but uh, <laughs> sure, why not? Mad Hog just wants to rant just for the sake of ranting. Okay, here's the thing that got me. Okay, so you notice early in your playthrough how sometimes she'll just disappear for an entire month. Yes. yes right? She... I have no idea what causes that. Because, in the strangest thing ever, I had her morality and faith completely maxed out. And she would still periodically do that shit for no apparent reason. Hmm. She hasn't done it. She only done it when she became a delinquent with us. Um, I think, like, basically if you do not keep her stress at zero at all times, she's liable to do it at any point. You know, maybe it's just the blood type. <laughs> <laughs> because the blood type has to serve some purpose. I, I actually do know what the blood types do. They oh. modify certain stats on a monthly basis. Really? For no. example, um, Salary here bleeds charisma because of her blood type. B please don't say bleed. Please don't say bleeds. I mean, it constantly goes down every month. Please don't but say. Gets please don't say another stat. Please, please don't say that she bleeds every month. <laughs> oh god, I didn't even realize that. I'm sorry. Yes. I mean, it's a perfectly natural thing for a young woman growing up discovering the the natural curses of, uh, of a womanhood, a womanhood and fertility and all that. Guys, it's guys, the... guys, guys, say no more. Just direct them to the Disney's PSA about menstruation and we're <laughs> done here. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, yes. I, I think, you know, knowing Disney, I think if I were to do that, I would get a copyright strike on YouTube. Oh, because I, it, I haven't. I haven't because yet. Because it's Disney. Well, I haven't yet. And I've, and I, and I, and I ripped on that. Huh. Have you okay. saved the game, by the way? Yes, I saved it just now. Yes, he okay, just saved uh, the game. Okay, uh, what do we do now? Do we, do we do we the usual routine? Or do we do something different? Uh, well, are you going to try to grind fame and fortune, or are you going to, uh, it depends on what you want to do. You have tons of gold right now, so dance lessons, you can go crazy yes, with them. Okay, uh, I have an idea. Yeah? Uh, after next year's tournament, we should attempt to face the God of War. Alright. So we'll be working towards that, then? Yes. Constitution what? helps. Constitution helps. So, and so does charisma. That's okay. Dance lessons. No, it uh, dancing lessons. And farm work. Farming. Farm work is actually kind of unnecessary at this time, uh, except for getting you gold. I mean, that, right that now you don't that, need that, gold. Then lumberjack. Lumberjack pays well. Actually, believe it or not, strength doesn't do much in combat. I found. Then gra uh, I don't know graveyard. <laughs> Salon. <laughs> yes, let's 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 I babysit. Mean, if you're trying to go with combat, I mean that's basically not something you need to worry about. You should be spending money on more schooling that could like raise combat defense and stuff like that. Okay. So Or a magical defense. Alright, so So um, I mean if you wanna beat the god of war So you'd have to go to school more Okay, okay, let's, let, let's do school. Jeez. Novice fighting, right, I'm okay, guessing. Okay, so you would have to get fighting above novice to start getting combat defense bonuses. All right. Or you could take theology to get magical defense bonuses. Yes, but doesn't theology uh, also diminish other stats? It does not, actually. Hmm. Science does. Science? Are you serious? I... Why science? <laughs> and strategy. Science and strategy actually diminish other stats. Jeez. Well, 
that was it's wonderful. almost it's almost it's the, this game is telling us you cannot be uh, an intelligent person with a reasonable uh, trained body at the same time, <laughs> because apparently those kind of people don't exist in real life. Your training is unarmed combat it is over. Don't wave in your dedication. So there was no point in doing it. Um, Until you can get up to expert, um, or adept. I'm sorry, adept, and start doing that. You should probably, like, either, unless you're willing to work at that one, grind theology. At least you'll get magical defense. Mm. Or, or not. Let's just, let's just. That's, you get magical that's, defense from the beginning, at least. Let's try that. Theology. Theology. And then we take time off. Let's see how bad we do with this. Doink, doink, doink. You're gonna get absolutely nothing from it right now. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it so that we could get out of it at least. Sorry, you had enough yeah, novice yay, level training. Yeah, you can finally go to a depth. I'm switching you to a depth level, starting next time. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is a nun. Sister, Sister Lee. Lee. Hello. Praise be the Lord. I am Sister Lee from the church. Lee is a boy's name. <laughs> what is with you people naming? Well, um, unless Lee is her last name. Actually, Lee is actually a really common last name. It's not in this country. That fr throws me off. The Lord is the, not of the, the mortal. The Lord is not of the mortal world. He he created it and everything in it. He also wanted to destroy it uh, at some point, but we don't, do not talk about that. <laughs> and he also wants you all to have free will, but all of humanity will make out that uh, you shouldn't have any at all. Such is the word of the Lord. It's a really confusing word, I realize, but the, the Lord works in mysterious ways, in mysteriously convoluted and kind and of contradictory ways. Way. Really <laughs> contradictory ways. But he is the Lord. Who are we to question the Lord? Praise be the Lord. In this class, let us together cultivate a world view which is based on pious faith. Sounds like a million laughs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Our intelligence and faith goes up as well as magical defense. Class is over now. I hope you all come back again next time. You'll come back now. You're here? See you later. Well, this was wonderful. A dreadful cold has dreadful cold wave has struck. It's only <laughs> taking three years. Well you, could, well, you could say that a storm is coming. Now this um, is a better dress and for that's, you. And that storm is a blizzard. Thank blizzard of balls. No, it's a blizzard. It's new IP, Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> Everything comes together. <laughs> Yeah, she talks about flimsy armor. I clash it with my flimsy little armor hands. Okay, so now you can take combat training and theology. Uh, or you could do dance and either, whichever. Yeah, and fighting only takes 40. Depth Let's do a combination of these three. Let's do theology. So you just don't... Okay, whatever. Me. Let's see. Let's get going. I have a dog on my lap now. And everyone's well, all cheering for you. Well, Ross, that's good for you. And we're still kicking things. Well, I think they are... Oh, wait, they were wooden things before. Now they seem to be made of metal. No, they're not. They're made of wood still, as far as I can see. Yep, they're made of wood. Like maybe, shadow. Maybe it's hard wood. The hardest one. And this oh, priestess man, is doing karate chops on the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I can cast for the Lord, <laughs> she says. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was amusing slightly.